Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Nick and Anna, digital nomads from the States who left and have been traveling full time, trying to see the whole world and what it has to offer. If you enjoy our content, we'd love to have you as a subscriber to take you along. So click that subscribe button, hit the like, do what you need to do, but let's get started. This is part one of our Japan trip starting in Tokyo. We'll be riding bikes around the city, trying the local delicacies, and my favorite, trying to figure out how to ride the train system here. If you're planning a trip to Japan soon, you're gonna wanna know our tips and watch till the end. Let's take you when we first landed. Customs was a breeze to roll through, it was super easy. And once we were through, we met up with our driver. We made it to Japan. We're in our taxi. Why are you laying down? Because I can. Welcome back to our channel. We had to plan a ride from the airport ahead of time since we were landing at 11 p.m. The train stopped running and it was just easier after a long day of travel. We were coming from Bali, so it was about a six or seven hour flight. There are plenty of apps where you can book your ride ahead of time, but we used Kluk. To say we were excited to get to our Airbnb and rest was an understatement. Let's give you a quick tour. So it's our first night here in Tokyo, Japan. We just landed, it's midnight. I'm trying to be quiet because this is a really quiet place. I'm going to 7-Eleven to get us some snacks. And I'm coming back here, I'm gonna shower. And I'll show you the room. Okay, okay, so I made it back from 7-Eleven. Got our snack and poos. Let me show you the grand tour of the place here. Um, here's, our, here's our bed. Anna's in the shower, if you can't hear. I'll show you the bathroom, but that's uh, that's for the premium subscribers only. Here in the kitchen, let's take a look here. Got ourselves nice little pots and pans. Clearly we just got here. We haven't even unpacked our bags just yet. And then let's show you some of the goodies that we got from 7-Eleven. Of course we had to go with the Kit Kats because we love the Kit Kats. We got this weird croquette with sauce, corn and mayonnaise pie. Um, of course got some standard ramen. Had to go with that. Got the nice adult beverage. Some dry sausage for the miss. Got some more Kit Kats. These are the lemon Kit Kats. I was very excited about them. And a big old thing of water because we are literally dying of thirst. And once Anna gets out of the shower, I'm gonna consume all of this and it's gonna be so damn good. Oh, and I almost forgot the best part. This whole thing was 1600 yen, which is only like $11. Let's go, I'm in. Okay, so now that Anna's out of the shower, I can show you the luxurious bathroom Have we got here. Have fun in there, because you're taller than me. This is the bathroom. It's uh, about... It's petite. Yes, petite is the word. This is my eye level. <laughs> this is literally how tall I this thing. From six foot here one. to here is about four inches of clearance between my head. And yeah, that's the whole bathroom. What do you think, Bess? Be careful, because it's, it's pretty like a deep step going in, but I think your head might be touching the ceiling over there. Oh, that's great to hear. That's fun. That's what we like to hear. The next morning before our bike tour, we had to grab a bite to eat, so we headed to our 7-Eleven for a quick breakfast sandwich. It's gonna be so cold, it's gonna be nice and chilly. It's like 85 and like I can feel my mustache <laughs> sweating. Anyhow, good morning, party people. Um, I don't, I don't know if you can hear. Uh, stop crinkling. I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> it's dead silent. This is the, this is the quietest. It's not even this quiet in my own house. <laughs> Literally, but we got, we went to 7-Eleven, by our house again, and we got um, the TikTok. It was, my, it was my first time, and no, it's not TikTok. I follow her on YouTube, her name is Her Atlas, and she was talking about how she made this sandwich, and so essentially these are spicy chicken, like okay. tenders, and then we're gonna make a sandwich out of them with these pancakes with maple syrup, and the pancakes have like, like syrup. Okay. So it's kind of like, what's that McDonald's breakfast sandwich? McGriddle? Yeah, but like, some more and stuff. Okay, let's do it. Also, <clears throat> I just appreciate like, the packaging on everything. I went in there and like, the stimulus overload. Hello, Pijon, eh? None of these. Okay. So, Nick just got the same thing as me because a package comes with four pancakes. Oh. It's like butter. Okay. That's shell. 
Got the butter and the maple mm. syrup. We're gonna put the chicken sandwich in it. Does it live up to the hype? This is everything I hoped it would be. Mm -hmm. You wanna make yours now? She's been talking about this sandwich for like days. I literally said I just wanna spend a whole day just eating at 7 Eleven. Oh, you, didn't bag, you didn't rip the bag correctly. What? There's perforation in the middle, bro. Uh, Come on. Pay attention to that packaging. There's the pigeon tax. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is really about me. Nice guy. Holy s. <laughs> no, Jim. It's just so good. It's like not American convenience store level no, food. No, not at all. Not at all. Like I would probably pay like 15 bucks for this, like at back a restaurant. Home? Not back home. And it would be viewed as a monstrosity. You'd be like, look at this thing. Two pancakes. How much was maple it? Maple syrup. Um, everything we bought was like less than $10. Okay. And we got drinks and we got- We um, got like three drinks and all this. Excuse me, sir. What are your thoughts? Sir? Excuse me? Sir? Sir? Anything? No? So, after what we're doing is we're getting on a train, which we've never done before in Japan. If you've never seen the train lines, they look very confusing. I'm a little nervous because we didn't buy any passes, we didn't buy any, we didn't prepare anything for this. So, figure it out. so we're either going to be late, which I absolutely hate that, no, that prospect. We got like an hour. It's nine o'clock. Oh, we got like 30 minutes. We gotta, we gotta get yeah. going. We yeah. gotta go. So, let's go. After some fun. brief confusion, that was we got our tickets. And we're getting on the train. It's gonna be fine. Let's go. Okay. Yes. We got our bikes. Yeah. It's, it's We're gonna stop in five minutes anyway. Okay. I just like to do one of the upgrades that's complete. It's extremely hot. We're wearing direct sun. We're gonna ride bikes. It's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Alright, so fortunately you if you're traveling to Japan during the summer months, it can get extremely hot, so please come prepared. So, you know, the land's kind of hold so it's not appreciated. It's a little bit, yeah, uh, uh, very, very different. So usually your parents will have a house. They'll give it to you, bring it down to your family. Uh, oh, you okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you had kids, you might give them, they'll knock it down and rebuild it. That's how it works the whole time. But it's definitely a breeze. Yeah, no, there's a breeze. Grab some water. Oh, there's a little bit of water. Oh, there's a little bit of water. Grab some water out of a vending machine. We're good to go for another probably an hour or so. This is fun. The streets are a little narrow. Gotta make sure you look both ways. Keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> but no, it's fun. This is so nice. I'd say we're having a good time. Yeah. Intersection's coming up, be yeah. careful. Biking here is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. No, it's just like the little alleyways are like much smaller and narrower, so you just have to be like aware. 
and like everyone's like super polite like you don't really like ring your bell with people you just kind of like go around them there's a lot of blind corners oh jesus Versus speaking of amsterdam you're like ding, ding, ding. oh god oh hang on sorry <laughs> so that's like i think i might have like a trigger finger <laughs> oh when you hear the bell no, 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 like I have trigger finger. Oh, that, oh. like I want to ring the bell, but oh. I'm like, no, no, no. That would be like PTSD from all the bells in Amsterdam. Yeah. Ding. To rest a bit during our bike ride, we'd stop for lunch at a local ramen place. Not for a cool glass of water, but for a hot bowl of ramen. In Japan, it's thought that if you're hot, the best thing to cool you down is a hot bowl of ramen or a hot meal. Not sure if we were just told this as a joke or not, but the food was delicious either way. Boiling. It's hot. It's hot. It's really good. The best ways that we found to cool down was by packing a portable fan, as we always do, drinking lots of water, and taking advantage of air conditioning when it's available. There's no shame in standing underneath a fan. So my hair's a little crazy. It's okay. We're going downstairs. We're going to park our bikes for a bit, walk around. I think we're gonna grab some more food, which is exciting. So we stopped for a moment on our walk. We got some of these nice little pastries. Let's check out what we got over here. I got the bean, red bean. Anna, what'd you get? Custard. Is it good? Let me see. Oh, let me see the food. It's all right, is it a chocolate yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you get some good purchase on it. That's it, yeah, like that. Have a go. Good job. Okay. I like inhaled the powder first on accident. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> give, me a, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Can I get you? Thumbs sideways. Let's well, see what you think. <laughs> so as I said though, my wife's like favorite it. snack, I like it too. It's not for everyone though. For a lot of some people, they don't like the texture uh, mm. so much. Is it a green tea? No, the one, this one here, that's kinako, so that's roasted soybean powder. So, make, so it's maybe the roasted side of it. So that um, powder, that's almost the equivalent of pure protein powder though. So it's very healthy for you. And you can sprinkle it on your cereal or your ice cream. The one that I pointed out, so do it. Okay, so we finished our bike tour. We're grabbing our bikes from the bike parking lot right now. I'm a little, we got our ticket, we got our money. We got ticket on the left, money on the right. When we do it, we put it in, right? Ticket on the left, money on the right. And then we need the bike escalator. Then we're gonna use the bike escalator, let's go. I don't know, <laughs> do you think you want to record that? I'm gonna try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gates open, let's go. Okay, now this is the bike escalator. Oh boy, oh boy, we're going. It literally doesn't take much to entertain me. We finally got back on the train to start heading back to our place. Wait, can we talk about, do you see how far up my bra, my sweat is up to here. Don't put this in the video, are you kidding me? My sweat is up to here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hot. It's disgusting. We, so we made oh it back. Oh my God, it's so hot here. We made it back from our bike ride and it is arguably hotter here than it was in Bali. Uh, I think we underestimated the difference in no wind, all humidity. <sighs> so, we're radiance. Just, we're radiance. I mean, it's great. I'm glad we're here, but I'm like, my waistband is drenched in sweat. Oh, I need to change clothes. I need to shower. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gross. We'll catch up with you in a bit here. <laughs> Like I said in the beginning, this is part one of two for our Tokyo trip. Make sure you hit subscribe because the next time we're going to be going to the Tuskegee Fish Market and riding the Shinkansen Bullet Train. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.